Welcome to this Functional Skills Level 2 Maths Training video. This video contains information and guidance on Criterion 19. Use coordinates in two dimensions, positive and negative, to specify the positions of points. At Level 2, and by the end of this session, you should be able to Understand the coordinate plane Identify the origin Recognize positive and negative values. Plot points on a 2D grid. And read and write coordinates correctly. The coordinate plane is made of two crossing lines, which are known as the axes. The x-axis is the horizontal line. It goes from left to right. The y-axis is the vertical line. It goes from top to bottom. They meet in the middle. This is known as the point of origin. The axes can contain both positive and negative numbers. Any given point on the grid can be identified by a pair of coordinates, written as x, y. The x coordinate always comes before the y coordinate. For example, the coordinates for the blue cross shown on this grid are 5 minus 3. We can use the phrase along the corridor and take the stairs to help us remember that the x coordinate is always written first when we're reading or writing coordinates we always start at the origin the origin coordinates are 0 0 next we move along the x axis or along the corridor until we are underneath or above the blue cross here we can see we move to 5 after this we need to move up or down the y-axis until we're at the point we are trying to read. In this example, we need to follow the line from the 5 on the x-axis to the blue cross, which is at minus 3. Therefore, the coordinates for the blue cross are 5 minus 3. Let's look at another example of identifying and writing coordinates. Remember that you can use a pencil and ruler to help you during your exam. Identify the coordinates of the square on the grid below. To make the coordinates easy to read, red lines have been used to identify the coordinates on each axis. First, we need to start at the origin. Move left along the x-axis until you're under the square. We can see that the x-coordinate is minus 3. Next, move up. If we look at the y-axis, the line goes to 2. Remember we must always write the x-coordinate before the y, and they should be written in brackets and separated by a comma. The answer is minus 3, 2. Now it's your turn. Use the grid below to identify the coordinates of the triangle, circle and pentagon. Pause the video while you write down the answers, then press play when you're ready to continue. Let's review your answers. Pause the video while you do this. We also need to understand how to plot points. Let's look at an example. The grid below shows three corners of a rectangle. Identify and plot the coordinates of the fourth corner. First, let's use a ruler to join up the points of the rectangle we've already been given. This will help us understand where the final point needs plotting. We can then make sure the fourth point is plotted the correct distance. This shows us where the fourth coordinate should be plotted. The rectangle has been drawn using the red lines, and the fourth corner has been marked with an X. The coordinates of the fourth corner are as follows. The X axis is minus 3. The Y axis is minus 6. The correct way to write the coordinates is minus 3 minus 6. Now it's your turn. On the grid below are five corners of a hexagon. Identify and plot the coordinates of the sixth corner. Pause the video while you complete the question, then press play when you're ready to continue.
Let's review the answer. The lines of the hexagon have been drawn on in red using a ruler. The sixth corner has been marked with a green X. The coordinates of the final point are as follows. The X axis is minus 2. The Y axis is 1. The correct way to write the coordinates is minus 2, 1. You should now be able to understand the coordinate plane, identify the origin, recognize positive and negative values, plot points on a 2D grid, and read and write coordinates correctly. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.